Welcome, investors and traders. We will be looking today at investing and trading the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100. This video will give you informed decisions on analytics, mathematics, and statistics to make a high probability of choice what will happen in the next week, the next six months, and the next one year. Before we get started, disclaimer, the information provided on our channel is for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. Protect your capital by all means. Build your system with some of the indicators that we are giving. Do not only rely upon us, but we have a clear probability of succeeding in the next three days, six months, and into one year. Let's start off with the beginning part. What do we want to look at? Top-down approach. The top-down approach is starting from the whole forest and breaking it down into the trees. Now, with the QQQ, it is the whole forest. What also are we looking for? What is our trading edge today? Our trading edge today is a stage analysis. It's also certain oversold indicators at these levels and having the NASDAQ in seven of the largest companies that are all in uptrends. We'll be also looking at some indicators that are bearish, but overall, we are very positive. Short-term, intermediate term, long-term, we are bullish on, this, on the QQQs and the market in general. Let's start with stage analysis. Stage analysis is looking at four different phases, accumulation phase, growth phase, distribution phase, and dec declining phase. Right now, 53% of the NASDAQ companies are on an uptrend. This seems a little bit mediocre, seems a little bit neutral. Why are we excited? Because we have found about seven of these companies are in extreme growth phases. That's Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, Google, NVIDIA, and Meta, and a few other ones also that are in high technology, which are the ones driving the NASDAQ 100 upwards. As you can see recently, the NASDAQ has gone straight upwards, and these are because of these seven companies, while the other companies are, so, are ho-hum. Maybe you can say it's a split market, so what's driving the NASDAQ? It's these what we call Magnificent Seven. And we've been telling people for the last four months that these seven will go up higher. We're telling you today that these seven will go up higher. Thus, the NASDAQ, which is a composite of these seven and heavily weighted to these seven, the NASDAQ 100 will go upwards too. So our first stage analysis, minorly bullish on the 100, but very bullish on the 20 stock, specifically the seven stocks that are moving up higher. Let's continue. We are using what we call a weight of evidence. Not everything will be positive to the bullish side. And definitely the VXN is in very much euphoria right now. But thus saying that, these are not historically high levels, 1929. 19.29, but recently for the last year, it is euphoria. These levels are pre-COVID levels. But again, we're using a weight of evidence. Our short-term indicator, proprietary indicator, is at a pretty good number at 11.94. Let's go down over here. Every time that this number hits the zero, you can see a rally. And even though we are on an on an on a up, uptrend phase, we still feel that because this number is lower, that in the next one to three days, we will pop. We are not shorting into this market. We are not shorting into the QQQs. Even for a short-term tr trade, we are looking to buy into the QQQs based because of this RSI is so low, because of our proprietary indicator is so low which goes into RSIs. You can see the stochastic RSI, the relative strength RSI, and our proprietary indicator. All three are, are at low levels, so we are expecting a bounce. 
Now, this bounce could be three or four days, and then it could go back lower. But we are still expecting a bounce short term. Let's continue further our weight of evidence. So we talked about our proprietor indicator. We also talked about RSIs and long-term indicators and an exit swing signal on an RMO. What else could we look at to make this even more on our side? What we did was we have a proprietary indicator of oversold and overbought. Not since six months, February, let's say, this level here in February has not been this low on a proprietary indicator of a composite of 20 through 20. It usually hovers around a 40 level. And you can see what happened after this hit the level. Now we did come up, down, but still at this level, you saw a three day pop. So for the short term traders, because we have not seen this level in over two months, of a 20.38, we are definitely expecting a pop very, very soon. Now that pop can go up, go down, and then continue the intermediate term, but we're still feeling short term, we have reached a somewhat bottom. Again, weight of evidence, double AII market sentiment ratio, not very good. Everyone is euphoria, put call ratio, not very good. What is very good is, is what something it has we call a remarkable track record once the S&P 500 is, is goes up 20% off bear market lows. We spoke about this in other videos also. You can see it goes down 20% lows and off to the races. You can see 10, 12, 22, and then we've hit the 20% off the lows and we're expecting a number to move up higher. Let's go. RMO has recently just turned neutral with this red bar over here. We went over RSI's, our proprietary indicator, and you could also see this number here. So let's round up the facts and the conclusion. If 53% of the stocks are heading in an uptrend, and out of the seven stocks, which really control the market, 100% are in growth phases, positive. VIX, negative what we have been for the last year. Positive, a very, a very low number for our short-term indicator saying it has oversold the market even though the stocks are high. Same thing with common indicators that you can find like RSI and Stochastic and exit swing signals. Let's continue further. This number we have not seen since February 23rd of 2023. And we have seen when it's hit this level, a three, four day rally. It went back down and then back up to the races. We talked about the Magnificent Seven. We talked about the S&P 500 is 20% higher and the chances of being higher in one month, three months, six months, and 12 months is very good. Negative. Market sentiment, market sentiment, and more market sentiment. A lot of the retail people believe the same thing that we believe, that market will go up higher. So what is IRR Deers? We are going long QQQs for the short term, intermediate term, and long term. Specifically, in the Magnificent Seven. If this video has brought you value, please like and subscribe. You know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it, peace.